Well, it's always good to come back, and it's good because I don't have the same nervous energy. You know, last time I was here, uh, I was in the competition, and the great thing about coming back is you get to revel in the fact that none of that worry is on my brain tonight. Right. And tell me, you competed, so you know what this is all about. So yeah. what are these pe people thinking right now today? Uh, well, it's kind of nerve-wracking. You know, it's a, it's a complete mind fuck when you're going through the process because we film so much of the show, and then you go back and refilm the ending, uh, which is kind of interesting. So they've been on a journey already from audition tapes till now. So this is just the start of it. You know, we've got another, what, 12 weeks before we actually see who gets in the top three and who gets to win. So it's a complete journey. What do you think people have to do to bring it this time? Uh, well, I, well, I don't know. I mean, they've kind of covered everything on the show. They've covered, you know, people that were assholes and left at a bus stop. They had people that had drug problems. You know, all that madness has happened, so you never know. And how do you find your costumes? What do you? What gives you inspiration to do do your look? Well, I always wear the same dress, so it doesn't really matter. I follow RuPaul. Wear one dress that works and do it consistently. And you've been such a great role model for everyone. And tell me, that takes a lot of responsibility. So how are you spreading the messages that you need to spread? And Helping well, the world. I, I try to spread diseases because that's easier. And he's trying to wrap this up because he's got to get over there. So we're going to say this. It's all been great. It's wonderful. So watch season eight. It's going to be amazing on Logo TV. Okay. And we're a site for newly diagnosed and people in with HIV. Do you have a message about the importance of being safe out there? Well, I always say get tested. Please, I wear a hazmat suit when I have sex because you never know. And to make it kinky, you just tell everybody, I'm a beekeeper and make me some honey. Oh, you're amazing. Role Thank play. you so much for being Thank here. Thank you. Thank you. Get to the red carpet. <laughs> This is Mike Kavanaugh with HIVHero.org and HeroNews.org, and I'm here with Kasha Davis from Season 7. How are you? Oh, Mrs. Kasha Davis. I'm a married lady. Don't get oh. too nervous around oh. me. <laughs> you are the most beautiful creature I've ever seen. Oh, because I'm the only one here yet. <laughs> oh, but it's, it's good to be fashionably early, I believe. Well, yes. I've got to be ready and for these gals. I mean, Season 7 has gone and passed, but now we're ready for Season 8. Are you excited? I am so excited. Tell me, what do these girls have to do to bring it on to win this year? Oh. Oh my gosh. I mean, you know, it's uh, this is like the hundredth queen, as Rue is saying. So you've really got to have it all. I mean, you've got to be an all-around capital C-U-N-T to really win this competition. What did you find most fun about doing the competition last year? Oh my gosh. You know what? It, me, meeting, the gear, the, uh, meeting the gals was great. But you know what? The, being able to do stuff like this, getting to get out and meet people like yourself. I mean, this is the hoot. Right. Don't you think it's amazing how RuPaul has brought this artistry to the mainstream? It's in everybody's living room. I mean, if you have logo. Yeah. Well, we all have logo. Tell me, how did you get this hair, and who does that for you? Do you do it yourself? Oh, no. This is my simple, like, you know, grocery store shopping <laughs> hair. I mean, this is what I'm a suburban housewife, so this is what I do. I have all day long to prepare for stuff like this, so I just get my hair and tease it up. Okay, so tell me a little secret about you that no one knows. Oh, my gosh. A secret that no one knows. I'm not wearing a girdle. This uh, is my uh, real uh, shape. Okay, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And, you know, we're a site for newly diagnosed people living with HIV. Do you have a message about the importance of being safe out there? Oh, my gosh. Please be safe. You know, you get in the moment. As my father told me, you know, don't let your emotions get the best of you. You know, that was his sex talk. Real helpful, Dad. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, I mean, you take care of yourself. That way we can all love one another and have a fabulous time. That's amazing. And when you, what are your shopping tips? Where do you find outfits? You buy all of it, and I'm, most of what I wear is Mother of the Bride or Size Man. Um, it, it, it's usually that. But, you know, just go to the department stores. A lot of gals make things, but I'm not Amish. <laughs> and what is the secret to being an amazing performer, do you think? Well, I think you need, to, you need to know your words. You need to know your history and practice. You know, a lot of gals just think it's all just about putting on a dress. It's more than that. What's your character? Who are you? And, you know, have fun. Exactly. And what are you expecting this year? What's going to make you say, oh, my God, this is the season of seasons? You know, I, I really do believe this is the beginning of something even bigger. Um, you'll see there's a lot more coming. Rue's got a lot up her girdle that she's going to be letting us all, that she's going to let it all hang out this year. So be prepared for even more is all I'm going to say. That's great. Do you know any of the new girls? I do. They're just fantastic. Who I do mean, you know? Well, you know, I think my favorite is Kim Chi. Uh -huh. Kim Chi is just gorgeous. Wait till you see what she brings here tonight. I have a feeling it's going to be stunning. Um, of course, you know, Derek, the Britney gal. I mean, you know, who doesn't know her? She's, a, she's an international celebrity already. Yeah. So, you know, they're all fabulous. They're and we lovely. Ha yeah, we have a new one, Bob the Drag Queen from New York, uh -huh. who I love. I've seen him many times. He's so talented. Have you seen him? I have her? seen Bob, him, her, whatever the, she wants to be today. And I think that she's just smart and fun. I think that this is amazing because you know what? Drag queens are salt of the earth. They make us happy. 
and you're living your lives and I'm so happy to be here and I think it's amazing that you are you and fabulous and bringing it for us. Well, thank you so much. And thank you. I'll be the salt to your grinder. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm in love. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Thank you, here. darling. Mwah. 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 We're European. <laughs>